Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, welcome to the EFX Sports Studio. Um, I want to talk to you today about low T. Um, you've been hearing this more recently than ever um, on the TV. You've got low testosterone, you're tired, you're depressed, you're lethargic, you can't burn muscle fat, um, fat, you can't put on muscle. Go to your doctor, get a patch, get a shot, it's the cure all. Then after 15 seconds, you gotta listen to another 60 seconds of all of the side effects. Folks, listen to me. As men age, after about 25, 26, our testosterone levels start to decrease. Um, so the older we get, the less our body is producing of testosterone. This is a normal thing. It's not extremely healthy for our testosterone to get very low. So from one standpoint, the medical profession is doing something okay because they're trying to elevate our testosterone levels. The problem is they're not controlled, they don't know what they're doing, and levels are going way too high. So what is happening is the side effect, one of them is being irritable, um, aggressive, um, people's marriages are suffering, uh, kids are suffering because of this. Do you remember when you were a teenager? If you don't, do you remember having teenagers, how they acted? Well guys, this is what you're acting like and you don't know it because your testosterone is where it was when you're a teenager. You do not need to be that high. Remember, these synthetic hormone replacements completely shut down your body's production of testosterone and you are using that synthetic. So if you ever go off, you're gonna be worse than where you started. So my recommendation is run, stay away from it because you're gonna to have to stay on it the rest of your life. Now, let me tell you about some of the other side effects that do happen. I'm not gonna say maybe happen, might happen, they do happen. Increased risk, heart attack, stroke, blood clots. Listen to the side effects. Listen to the disclaimers that the drug industry gives you. I know numerous people who have had these issues. So how do we accomplish this? Well, as an aging uh, athlete myself, um, several years ago, I was noticing my testosterone was starting to drop and I was tired, lethargic, it was tough getting to the gym, putting on muscle, I was starting to put on body fat. I did not want to go the synthetic route because I'm smart enough to know all these side effects um, isn't something I want to deal with um, the rest of my life. So I got in and I figured out a way to boost my own levels. I developed a compound called Taxidrol, clinically proven, awesome. It's the main ingredient in my EFX sports product called Test Charge. Does it work? Absolutely it works. Maintains my testosterone at a manageable level. I have just enough aggressiveness to be able to get in the gym and get after it, but not too much that it affects my relationships, it affects my, my work relationships. Um, and the good thing is, is I'm boosting my natural levels. I'm not doing it synthetically. So if I ever go off, I'll drop down a little bit, but I'm always in the plus. So very cool. Um, the other thing is there are a lot of foods and things that you can do and not do to help you increase your testosterone. So if your goal is to live a healthy life, then you want to do what I'm living. If you want to die young and look good and be lonely, then do what the pharmaceutical industry is doing. I'm sorry if I've offended anybody, but this show is about busting myths and bringing the truth. Um, look here, if you want a free copy of the book, 20 Ways to Boost Your Testosterone Levels, send me an email, drj, drj at allamph.com. I'll also send you some free information on test charge. Um, recommend it highly that you give it a try. Um, you will notice the difference in the first month. You're gonna feel better, um, you're gonna look better, you're gonna have more energy. Again, all the benefits of maintaining your testosterone levels, but all the negatives. Um, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the show, and I'm sorry for not, but this was for men only. Sorry, women. Uh, I will be doing some shows for you uh, in the near future. Anyway, um, I hope that helps. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.